Hi all, uh, this is Ashish Kalia, and uh, welcome again to Elliot Wave News Channel by Wave Strategy Advisors. And uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, certain functionalities that we have launched on our new website, uh, WaveStrategy.com, uh, where you will be able to probably uh, plot your own charts, uh, look at various indicators, uh, look at various uh, studies. Uh, and not just for Indian markets, it can be across uh, the global markets, across the stocks, across the indices. And uh, I'll be also showing a few of the techniques like uh, pr plotting of the channels, uh, looking at the Fibonacci ratios, uh, how do we plot the Fibonacci ratios. Uh, one very excellent uh, tool also which is there is you can plot the Elliott wave counts. However, this is not an automatic Elliott wave count. It is just an easier way of writing uh, an impulse count, say one, two, three, four, five. So it becomes easier to write impulse count. I do not prefer uh, doing a lot wave counts uh, by using any software because, uh, or an automated count, because uh, the counts will. Uh, there is still a subject of a, a subjective element involved when you do the basic a lot waves. Uh, when you do neo wave, then a lot of uh, advanced rules are applied which helps you to stay more objective. But when you do basic Elliott wave, I think uh, you need to combine it with many other techniques in order to stay objective and come out with the accurate uh, wave counts or the patterns. So uh, let me very quickly share across uh, the website uh, wavesstrategy.com where I'll be showing across how uh, we can use the chart functionality as well as uh, some other functionalities like uh, looking at the traders forum uh, looking at uh, market overview and things like that. So uh, I'll uh, very quickly show this is uh, the new website which we have launched. We have a trending now as the topics which are particular topic or stock is trending. Uh, then uh, there's advice of the day. Uh, over here you can find various different articles which are mentioned. And uh, if you scroll down you will get uh, the stock chart where you can plot your charts with the market overview, what has been the overall movement, uh, traders forum, so all those things are mentioned here. And uh, we have an upcoming events uh, mentioned and everything like that. So various services are mentioned. So let me now very quickly take you to the uh, advanced part, which is uh, the chart section. So over here you can see the chart section. Once you click on charts, over here uh, you can uh, see the overall uh, uh, layout of uh, probably nifty by default on the right hand side at the top you can see this is uh, the window where you can see all the indices uh, nifty bank nifty uh, us dow jones uh, s p nikai if you scroll down you can see hang Seng. so what has been the overall movement across uh, the asian markets uh, us and uh, european markets uh, so you can see that uh, over here there is uh, uh, so equities this equities have been uh, end of day data over here there is commodities commodities are actually the futures data which has been changing so this is live uh, probably delayed by some extent but uh, still the rates have been rates are refreshing uh, then we have forex data bonds and also sectors so sector becomes a very very important part because you can see which all sectors have been positive in today's trade or which have been the negative sector and uh, what uh, you can also do if you click on any of the stock or sector once you click here or if you click on nifty for example if i go to equity i go here i click on nifty by default another page will load with nifty as the uh, selected uh, chart so over here now this is the chart functionality which is end of day for nifty and indian market but if you look at uh, global stocks you can still find hourly data as well over here so uh, when i'm looking at this screen uh, the first thing that i am going to see is uh, how the price have been behaving so this is a candlestick chart how the price have been behaving from the low uh, what is the momentum indicator uh, which is shown here so rsi so far has not shown any kind of divergence uh, but if you apply uh, some other indicator uh, probably moving average convergence or divergence you will be able to see certain kind of uh, divergence which has been taking place so if i have to change the indicator I'll just go on the indicator tab here and uh, let me select MACD. So moving average convergence divergence indicator. So if I select MACD here and uh, I then close my window, I'll be able to see the MACD plot. Uh, and so over here you can clearly see how I'm able to play around with different indicators. So I have plotted now MACD. Uh, let me close out RSI. 
So in MACD, what is important is if you check, there has been negative divergence because the maximum momentum was seen in this area. And uh, this is a lower uh, line over here, which clearly shows that the uh, there has been a divergence between uh, the area over here. There has been divergence here. There has been divergence here. So all the way, uh, Nifty has been showing some negative divergence on the MACD indicator. That's one. Uh, second important thing to observe is uh, by plotting a trend line. So if you plot a channel, uh, one important channel that you can see is uh, this was a very, very important channel. Now, uh, this uh, initially, this was the first important channel. Now you can clearly see uh, this channel has been broken or this trend line was broken. So the trend line got shifted from this angle to this angle. Now this is also broken and now this trend line is shifted. Uh, to a much lower angle. So when you keep shifting the trend line to a lower angle, you can clearly see that you can clearly see when you keep shifting it, uh, you can see that the momentum has been reducing even though you are not able to uh, make out by looking at the price movement. So the momentum has been reducing that the first important thing that one has to observe. Next is now I am drawn a line. Uh, let me draw a parallel line to this. So I'll just uh, select it. And I can then drag it across to draw a parallel line. By if I press Control and draw a parallel line, so I can see that I can see this is the channel which has been working well. So this is the first observation. Now also remember this is for the third time we are changing the channel. Normally when we change the lower trend line for the third time, it indicates some uh, not so good sign. So this is now very important. Uh, next also. Uh, if you look at there is a negative divergence already, we are at this level. So now, if this channel gets broken, now the break happens on this channel at around 9050 levels. So if you break 9050 levels, that will be the first bearish sign that the market is probably forming an important top. The reason being, uh, if this line breaks, then it's a very, very important trend line which is breaking again. And it's not very often that uh, we see it for the third time the trend line get, uh, is, is broken. So that is important. Next also over here, one important aspect is how do we draw uh, or do the Elliott wave counts with an ease. So this is more from the ease perspective. So for example, if I have to do an Elliott wave correction of say WXY, so I'll just go here. I select this as a wave W on the upside. So I get W, I select this as wave X on the downside. Uh, then probably this was again uh, wave Y. And uh, this is how we simply plot WXY. And this was again wave X. So over here we have wave X and then we have A, B, C, D, which is probably a neutral triangle pattern on the upside. And we are probably in the final leg of uh, the neutral triangle pattern, which will be completing wave Z. So uh, over here uh, you can find out an ease in which uh, the, the patterns can be drawn WXY, XZ. So if I have to do W, X, Y, X, X, so I'll come here, I'll draw W, I'll plot X, I'll plot Y, uh, then I plot again X, and uh, this is probably wave Z which is on way. So this simply shows how easily I have just plotted uh, the different counts and uh, how uh, easy it is to uh, do and use the tool. So once this wave Z is complete, we know, all know that there is maximum third standard correction which is allowed. And uh, also, if you look at this chart, one important thing to observe is the steepness of the movement. Over here, the line was extremely steep. Again steep, but can you see how dragging it has been? So the steepness of the slope has been reducing. So which also indicates that the, uh, the, uh, the momentum has been reducing on the upside. However, we do not have any negative price confirmation. So please bear in mind, there is no point in uh, probably shorting the market right now. We need to get some negative price confirmation. And the first one and the most basic technique is to use the bar technique. As soon as we see a close below the prior bar low, that will be the first indication that there is a negative confirmation. Okay. Uh, now, uh, if a triple uh, corrective pattern gets over on the upside, the next thing that you have to observe is probably a retracement to the extent of 61.8% of the rise. So if I take a retracement of 61.8%, so this was the rise uh, until today. So if I take that, and I look at 61.8% retracement, so I get the levels of somewhere around in the zone of 8,400. Is market headed towards 8,400? I'm not going to predict that right now. 
what I'm going to closely observe is the market movement over here. If it manages to take out 9 to 1 it on the upside now, then yes, the rally is probably extending further. But if it breaks below the level of uh, the channel shown over here, then uh, we might be eventually headed towards the retracement target. Now, this retracement target is given as per NeoWave. And a complete explanation about how this retracement is happening or how it is going to move and what is the path ahead will be shown in uh, uh, the daily research report, the financial wave short term update. Uh, over here, there are also possibilities if you want, to, uh, if you love cycles, you can draw cycles, you can look at various indicators, uh, you can do your long positions, short positions. There are a lot of functionalities which have been provided. So uh, you can use that. If you have any queries or doubts, you can probably scroll down. Uh, and also move towards the traders forum part. You can start your discussion, post your queries, post your chart, and uh, share it across. Uh, at the bottom, we have a global fundamental chart where you can see PE earnings ratio plotted here, dividend yields, and various other ratios also plotted for the global markets. And uh, so I, I just thought of introducing uh, a readers, a lot of uh, uh, readers or viewers had queries on uh, where to go for plotting the chart. So this is the functionality uh, which uh, we have introduced. And uh, so I hope that uh, you will probably use this functionality. Uh, there can be some kind of uh, a glitch here and there. We are trying to fix those up. And uh, if you have any doubts, any queries, any feedback, please feel free to share it across to us. And uh, markets are going to be at a very important juncture. Time cycle analysis is shown in the today's report in the previous updates as well. Clearly shows how, uh, in, why, why over next two weeks it's going to be very, very crucial. So stay alert for next two weeks and uh, keep referring the research reports we publish daily, which has the crucial levels mentioned. And uh, this is the time I'm not going to be complacent expecting the multi year rally to continue, but uh, I'm going to be alert. I'm going to stay alert now and uh, looking at the price structure very, very carefully. It's time that uh, one should be prepared and not be surprised in case there is a, a very sharp and sudden reversals that happen. Oh, that's it from my side. Thank you very much. See you again uh, same time next week and uh, wish you all a very happy weekend. Thank you.